Hello everyone and welcome to Medicare Mondays with me, Morgan Reeser, one of the local agents here in Palestine, Texas with United Healthcare. I will be sharing short videos every Monday going forward where I break down Medicare into easy, bite-sized little morsels for all of y'all to take with you. So follow along with me if you are interested in learning about Medicare, how it works, what an Advantage plan is, and all of the different options out there for you. If you are not yet 65, but you're getting close and you don't know when your initial enrollment period begins, well, that's something we'll talk about too, so make sure you ask me about that as well. I always provide free consultations or need assessments so that we can go over exactly what it is that's important to you and show you all of the different options available to you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into our first Medicare Monday video where I'm going to talk about Part A. You can contact me at any time with any specific questions. You may or may not know Medicare is broken down into several parts. So original Medicare, the red, white, and blue card that many people have seen before, even if they're not of Medicare age yet, comes in two parts. Original Medicare is Part A and Part B. Part A, which we're going to talk about today, is basically your hospital coverage. Part A of Original Medicare covers hospital stays and most inpatient services associated with a hospital stay. So let's talk about Part A costs. Your premium will be $0 with your Part A Original Medicare if you've worked at least 40 quarters or 10 years and have contributed through payroll to Social Security. Otherwise, your premium could be as high as $471 a month. By the way, you have three months before, the month of, and three months following your birthday, called your initial enrollment period. This is the time you have allotted to you to sign up for Original Medicare Parts A and B. It's very wise to do your homework before the first of your seven months begins. Remember, three months before your birthday month, the month of your birthday, and three months after. You'd be surprised how easy it can be to forget or to put it off or just get behind. I provide a courtesy to those who would like some additional help navigating the Medicare portal and signing up for their Part A and their Part B. Now for the deductible, the Part A deductible. This is important to know and to keep in mind because it's a huge difference when it comes to Medicare Advantage plans or Part C, which we will be talking about in a couple Mondays from now. Your deductible with Part A hospital insurance is $1,484 per benefit period this year. That can change each year. A benefit period begins the day you're admitted to the hospital, and it ends when you've been out of the hospital for more than 60 days in a row. Now, if that sounds confusing to you, it's actually one of the most confusing parts of Medicare, and I'd be happy to break it down for you one-on-one -on -one by explaining exactly how the benefit periods work. So if you're in the hospital, your copay for day zero through 60 is $0. You've met your deductible for the benefit period, $1,484, right? So what happens if you have to be in the hospital for longer than 60 days? Your co-payment, it goes up to $371. This is $371 per day beyond 60 days, day 61 through day 90. What happens after day 90? you pay a $742 per day copay for days 91 plus. This is important. You have 60 reserve lifetime days of coverage that you can use if you're in the hospital for longer than 90 days. Let's say you enter the hospital, your benefit period begins. You pay your deductible $1,484 and you're in the hospital for a long time. In fact, you're in the hospital for more than 90 days. Well, now you're paying $742 per day and days 91 and beyond, you begin to tap into your 60 reserve lifetime days. Lifetime reserve days cannot be used in skilled nursing facilities. If you're moved to a skilled nursing facility, day one through 20 would be $0 copay. Days 21 through 100, 
you're looking at a $185.50 copay. Days 21 through 100 in a skilled nursing facility will cost you $185.50 per day. So that's a very brief synopsis of Part A of Original Medicare or your hospital coverage. So remember this, if you've contributed through payroll to Social Security for at least 10 years or 40 quarters, you qualify to have your Part A premium free. If you did not contribute for that length of time, you may have a premium as high as $471 a month. Each time you enter the hospital, that begins a benefit period. A benefit period ends when you've been out of the hospital for at least 60 days. Every time you enter the hospital and that new benefit period begins, you have to pay your deductible of $1,484. This figure can change year to year. If you're admitted to the hospital and you leave the hospital before 60 days and you're readmitted to the hospital within those 60 days, well then you're still in the same benefit period and you won't pay that deductible again. As you'll see when we discuss Part C, there are some very big distinctions between original Medicare costs and Medicare Advantage plans and those cost-saving measures put into place. Some of the cost-saving measures provide out-of-pocket maximums, for example. Those out-of-pocket maximums that you would have with a Medicare Advantage plan provide you with a safety net. A safety net that you may not have financially with just your original Medicare Parts A and B. So join me next week for Medicare Mondays where I'll talk about Medicare Part B. If you have any questions about Part A, which I venture to guess that you do because there's a lot of information and for a quick little video, I can't get it all in there. So please, if you do have any questions, I'm absolutely here to help you. I am a licensed agent here in the state of Texas. I do work with United Healthcare Products and I'm very happy to get to know you, your needs, your goals, and do a free needs assessment for you in your home, in my home, in a public space, wherever you'd like, virtual, easy peasy. So once again, thank you very much for tuning in. My name is Morgan. You're standing here with me in the Bowers Mansion. So if you've seen any of my content before, you know I talk about a variety of things. So I hope you all have a very nice rest of your day and I will see you next week for Medicare Mondays. Feel free to reach out to me anytime. You can comment below. I will private message you. Hit me up with your questions, your comments, your concerns. I'm here for you.